Okay, for our final step, we're going to open up the Tor file wherever you put the Tor browser. And I have already done this, so when you open your file, you're going to see browser, data, docs, Tor. This file will not be here. Basically, you're going to add a new folder, which is what I did here. You can name it anything. I called it Tor King and just leave it empty. You're just making a new folder, that's all you're doing. Next step, you're going to data, tour, and you need this file here, T-O-R-R-C, tour C. And we're going to open this file using Notepad. And what I've done here, when you open your file, you are going to see these top two paragraphs of code. What you need to add is a file path to the empty folder you just added. So here's the path to the file. And the name of the file is Torquing. And your port from your XAMPP installation, this should be in there already by default. So all you should be doing is adding this path to the, the directory. And this is where your .onion address is going to go. So once you've done that, move this over a little bit. Close this. And we're going to pause this for a second until we can reconnect. And now we're going to go back to our Tor browser and start the browser. You see us connecting over here. Okay, so as you can see, the browser's started. We're connected to the browser. This is our page here. Now once that is done, you need to go back into that file we created, the one that you named, whatever you wanted to name it, it doesn't matter. We're going to open this up. Now remember how the file was empty? It is no longer empty now. Now you have the host name. Open it with Notepad. And there is your .onion address. And you need to copy that. And then you're going to go over to the Tor browser. Keep in mind, this is not going to work in Google or something else, or Yahoo. You have to go back to the Tor browser, to that page you open, enter this .onion address, and that is where your site will be. So this is the .onion you've created. Now there's also, in that same file, there's also some more information that you should keep to yourself. It's really the key to your site, but you shouldn't reveal that to anyone. The dot onion is really all you need.